My Hero Academia Season 2 Episode 34. Gear up for the final exam. What is going on party people? Fimincho here, back at it once again with another My Hero Academia review. Today we're talking about Episode 34. It has been a long time since I've watched My Hero Academia. Um, two weeks, oh my goodness. And this series doesn't have that much longer to go either, and it's starting to make me sad. I don't want it to end. Um, let's talk about this week's episode. Now, I think the title for the episode definitely kind of sets the tone for the entire episode. It's called Gear Up for the Final Exam. This isn't the actual final exam. This isn't actually the practical exam. This is them gearing up for it, and it really shows in this episode. It's a very set up e. I don't know why I said this, set up -y type of episode. They really set up um, what's going on with the next coming episodes and how they're going to be fighting the teachers, which I think is really, really cool, and I think that they really spun that storyline out quite well. But the episode itself is a little bit slow. It, it's a slower episode, and to be totally honest, I kind of, I don't want a slow episode. I want this to be action-packed, I want it to be crazy, I, I want to see, I mean, after watching the Hero Killer Stain arc, that pulse-pounding arc, literally on the edge of my seat, you know, for the whole four episodes of it, I, I want to see more, I, 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 it just kind of reverted back to that slower-paced, uh, comedy-driven type of episodes, and that's fine, it is, it's just, I'm kind of greedy, and I want more, like, I want more excitement, I want more of that stuff. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just a little, I don't know, it's not a bad episode, it's just a little slow, that's all. Um, the comedy in this episode was really good though, just the beginning scene alone, I knew the tone for this episode, when seeing uh, Miss Midnight and Mount Lady on this talk show talking about the sexiness in their costumes, if it's practical or not, and then the, pa the pan out of the scene, and then you just see Mineta there, just watching it, like, on the edge of his seat, I thought that was really, really funny, it's probably the funniest joke. Um, in this entire episode, but there were some other great Minetta moments, uh, too, back in the classroom. I love the visual cues, the visual aids of the numbers of, of like, where they are in the class. I thought that was, uh, really, really cool, showing where the characters are and everything, and Minetta being so, uh, high up there, like, I think he was number four. Everyone's like, we like you more when you're dumb, like, you can't, you can't be smart, come on, you're Minetta. Um, I thought that was really, really funny. Um, the stuff with Momo and them going over her mansion, that was really funny as well. I love the soundtrack that they played when they were walking in. They were like, wow, I knew she was rich. I didn't know she was this rich. That was really funny as well. There were a lot of great uh, humorous moments in this week's episode. And um, I love where it's going. I do. And, and I, I, I like what's going to be happening next episode. <laughs> but this episode itself was just a very set up -y type of episode. And that's okay. Like, I totally get it. Again, it's just when you want so much excitement and when you're when you're winding down towards the end of a series end of a, a season at least you want that excitement you want something crazy to happen it's just it's it's something that us anime fans do i mean when a series is coming to it to its end you're like oh my god when's the big thing gonna happen is there gonna be a cliffhanger is there gonna be a huge action scene like how are they gonna end the series how are they gonna end it here there like what's gonna go on like you kind of start getting a little bit frantic now i haven't gotten it hasn't gotten that bad for me yet but I know a lot of people are feeling that way right now, and and I totally get that. Like every single time I am, toward, like the last four or five episodes, um, you know, into a series, I start wondering, like, is there going to be a final arc? Is this the final arc here? Like, what's going to happen at the end? Like, I want that beautiful cliffhanger. I want that great action scene. I need one more great moment in My Hero Academia before we see it go. I think we're going to get it. I don't think it's just going to end like, okay. That's the end, you guys all go to the summer camp thing, yay! Like, I think it's gonna be something, something crazy. They wouldn't tease Soga and the other weird, like, scarred dude. I don't think, I don't think they just tease those characters for no reason. So, yeah, there's definitely something happening in the next coming episodes. I've watched some other reviews and they've pointed out they are manga readers and they've pointed out that, like, oh my god, like, I can't believe the series is going in that direction this, this soon. I can't believe they're gonna be telling this story. Um, later on this season. I think there's four more episodes left. I want to say four more episodes. Not 100% sure. But all in all, this was a decent episode. 
great humor moments, humorous moments. Um, good soundtrack, as always. I like what they were setting up. It was just a slower episode. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I think that's the lowest score I've ever given a My Hero Academia Season 2 episode, at least. Um, which is pretty crazy, because a 7 is really good. It's just not really great. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give this episode a 7 out of 10. Um, I like the pairings of the heroes, too. Um, the conversation that all of the teachers were having, like in the, I don't know where they are, like a conference room or something. The conversation that they were having when they were pairing up the students I thought was really cool. I love that Bakugo and Deku are on the same team. It's going to be really interesting to see them uh, paired up together. I love how Aizawa has been keeping his eye on what's been going on with Bakugo and Deku. How he was like, I didn't think it was this bad. What is going on with Bakugo? Why? I get why he's angry. I kind of get that. But again, I've said this since the beginning of the series. I need more Bakugo. I need to like this character because again, he's just a barking dog at this point. I want to see why he's so angry. Like, show me a life at home. Show me something in his past that kind of made him this way. I need to like Bakugo. And I think we might be seeing that in the next couple of episodes. I hope we do. I like that pairing between him and Deku. I like the pairing between uh, Todoroki and Momo, um, Suyu, and of course uh, Tokoyami. I think that's a good pairing as well. It's going to be really exciting seeing them fight Ectoplasm. I think that's his name. We've never even seen this guy. Like, I don't even think we've seen him like in the background or anything. This guy looks crazy awesome. Really excited to see how his quirk's going to work. It looks like we're getting some really nice animation next week's episode. This week did have some pretty cool animation with uh, cement tosses, like crazy, just like cement going endlessly. Like that was really, really cool. Um, and seeing um, Kirishima, that's his name. <laughs> it's so hard to get the names in this series. Like I'm not going to lie, I struggle sometimes. I do these videos unedited, like they really are just one take because it's just a natural kind of flow thing. I do that with all my videos. So when there's so many characters and so many names, it's really hard to do that. But yeah, seeing Kirishima, and I'm not even going to pretend to remember. I think his name is Sato, the, the sugar dude. I think his name is Sato, yeah. Uh, seeing them go all in and just punching those walls and everything was really cool. It's a good action moment for the series. So yeah, all in all, 7 out of 10. Not a terrible episode, not a fantastic episode, but I'm definitely looking forward to to next week's episode. Comment down below, give me your thoughts on this week's episode of My Hero Academia. What did you think of it? Um, what do you think about the pairings? Do you think something crazy is about to happen in this series? Do you think the League of Villains is going to invade this training camp that they're at? That would be kind of stupid because you have all of the strongest heroes right there, so I don't think that that is going to happen. But there's definitely something brewing for sure. They would not tease that stuff for no reason so comment down below and give me your thoughts thank you very much for watching i hope you guys all enjoyed this week's episode and i hope you all enjoyed my review i really appreciate it and uh until next time i will see you guys later Bye bye <laughs>